Did you know that over a thousand Idaho kids will attend four day schools this year? Good for them. Something's happening here. Once a novelty confined largely to remote rural schools operating on a tight budget, the four-day calendar has gone mainstream. Yeah. Uh, three more districts are moving to a four-day schedule this fall. One is in Nampa, the state's fourth largest school district, BT Dubs, with an enrollment exceeding 12,500. Nampa wow. is by far the most urban Idaho district to make the four-day switch. Wow. Okay. What do we think about that, parents? So I've heard a few <laughs> times of a like almost four day switch where it's like if you have grades above this, you can go to mm. school Monday through Thursday and not have to come on Friday. Usually reserved for high schools, mm -hmm. to be fair, because they've got cars and they can drive themselves about. Um, but yeah, I honestly. Or take an Uber. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> now, I personally don't hate it. Okay. But that's because I'm kind of a slave to the the statistics, you know, the thing is that I've seen so many studies that say things like, um, people only get four hours of work done during an eight hour work day, you know, yeah. like you can only concentrate that long. And frankly, as someone who's worked an eight, 10, 12 hour work day, I agree. That's, and that's what terrifies mm -hmm. me about nurses and mm -hmm. sometimes doctors is you're working a 16 hour shift right? and you're in charge of my life. Yeah. What? It makes no sense. No. But But let's talk about the statistics. This is, so it's a popular trend, obviously, mm -hmm. but there's also some unknowns. The research into four-day schools is spotty. Some data points to a slight but incremental drop-off in achievement, which worsens over time. There is one point of consensus. A four-day schedule doesn't save a lot of money. Oh, interesting. So that's interesting. Sorry, I had a lozenge in my mouth and said interesting. Oh, yeah. Instead of interesting. I hope you're not getting my cold. I kind of am. I just feel like I'm coming off of last episode's I feel like cold. I've been dripping all day. <laughs> uh, but none, none of this has stopped districts and charters from making the move and hurtling past a point of no return. And that's where I think my concern is, is once you go to the four-day school week, if it doesn't work, it's going to be like pulling teeth. To get back. To get back to the five-day school week, right? Right, right. That's parents are going to be all up in arms. Kids are going to be all up in arms. Teachers. But will parents be? Because at the end of the day, that's one less day of daycare that they have to pay for. Well, I have a specific set of circumstances under which parents might be not okay with that. Tell me. <laughs> Here's a guy. Here's a guy. Okay, first let's take a let's let's think about the parents and how they they might be working from home at this point. Post COVID, and we're not even gonna dive into, but we'll mention quickly in saying that we're not gonna dive into the hypocrisy of the American employer that says, "Oh no, you can never work from home," and then COVID hits and they find a way to make it work. Right. And now, every here's two headlines: Wall Street Journal: The work from home free for all is coming to an end, with Amazon's CEO Jeff Bezos just calling everybody back to the office. Free full -time. for all. <laughs> sure, right. Okay. Right. You kids have had enough playtime. As if I hadn't been working from home even when I wasn't working from home, but okay. Well, and now and now some countries are sort of not the US, of course, in late stage mm. capitalism. Woo. Um, but some countries are pushing back with the whole you can't contact employees outside of work hours. Yes, thing. I've heard like, of that. It's becoming right illegal. To disconnect. Yeah, let's mm -hmm. let's work on that. And then a headline from Fast Company, hybrid work boosts productivity and reduces isolation. Researchers say mm -hmm. balancing both office and remote work presents the most promising path forward. Sure. So let's think about these parents. Here's something I didn't think of, but I saw a guy post from LinkedIn. One thing I never see discussed in the remote versus office debate is the ability to have sex with my wife, who also works during the day from home. It's much easier while the kids are at school and a huge boon for my productivity. Yeah. <laughs> he I says, know that not there sure are... how to explain that one to my boss. <laughs> okay, but that's the thing. I know that there are a few activities that can get people feeling pumped up and ready to go. And I have to assume that the endorphins released during such an act mm -hmm. would also help the workday. Well, and I know, when, <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Very well said. I know a few people who, if they work at the office and they get an hour lunch, they'll go take the full hour. But if they're working from home, 
They go into the kitchen, make themselves a sandwich, and, you know, what the hell else are they going to do? Right. So they just go back to their workstation, eat, and work. I will say, the endorphins released when I eat some potatoes with the sour <laughs> cream, butter, and and salt, uh-huh. also very effective and make me a better worker. Mm. You know? Eventually, I'll get fat, but until then, I'm very productive. <laughs> 